Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. The users my account page in an e-commerce should not be underestimated. This is the section where the users spend most of their time and it can become a powerful marketing tool if you use it to promote offers, coupons and cross-sell products. In today's video, we will learn how we can configure GIF WooCommerce Customize My Account page and why you should install it in your site. Now, before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Here we are inside the demo of our plugin Give WooCommerce Customize My Account page, a very useful plugin that can help you turn your store into a powerful marketing tool. First of all, right now we're able to see the plugin dashboard because I have already installed it and activated it. However, if you haven't done this part yet, all you need to do is go over to Plugins, Add New to Upload, Install and Activate your plugin. Now, first of all, let's review all the tabs we have available here. We have Endpoints, General Settings, Style Options, Banners and Security Options. Let's begin by reviewing this section. As the name indicates, over here, we will be able to find all the endpoints available in your customer's My Account page. After the plugin is activated, here you will see the default WooCommerce endpoints. For example, Dashboard, My Downloads, Edit Address, all of the ones you see here. So from this section, we will be able to manage this page, My Account. And as you can see over here, we have all the same endpoints we have just seen in the plugin. Now, you may be wondering what you can do with this plugin. And the answer is practically everything. For example, you can deactivate some of the endpoints you don't really need your customers to have. For example, let's say in my store, I only sell physical products. In this case, I don't really need my customers to have a My Downloads endpoint. For this reason, if you want to deactivate it, all we need to do is go over here and disable the endpoint. I'm going to save the changes. And if we go now to our My Account page, I refresh and we can see how the My Downloads endpoint has disappeared. Another thing we can do is reorganize the endpoints to change the order in which they appear. And this is very easy. All we need to do is click and drag. In this case, I have moved the My Orders endpoint from the bottom to the second position. And for example, let's try another. I will go and move the Edit account under My Orders. Perfect. Again, if I refresh, here we can see the new order. We have the My Orders in the second place and below the Edit account endpoint. Let's go back to our plugin. Something else we can do from this section is actually edit the information of the default WooCommerce endpoints. For example, let's take this one, Dashboard. Here, if we open it, we will be able to change the label, the icon, for example, show a different default one or upload a custom icon, decide who will be able to see the endpoint, either all users or only specific user roles, add content and decide the placement of the content. Let's go back here and add some content. In this case, for example, I'm going to enter this message. We have welcome. Hi, today is a great day to check your account page. You can check your last orders or check our latest offers. Now, if I go back, first of all, we can see here this placeholder that you will also find below here. And this placeholder will actually help you show the customer's name. Then if we go down, you can see we have included two different links. One to the latest orders and another one to the latest offers. This is actually a great idea to push your customers to interact more in your store. For example, they can visit products and check out any special offers you may have. Now that we have finished here, let's save. And now let's check it out. Here we are in the dashboard section of my account and over here we can see the new content we included. Welcome, hi Maria. And as you can see over here, the placeholder is showing the name of the user and our message. Today is a great day to check your account page. 
You can check your last orders or check our latest offers. And as you can see, we have here the two links. For example, if we click on this one, we are redirected to the My Order section of My Account. Now let's go back to our plugin. The best part of the plugin is that you can not only edit the already existing endpoints, but you can also create one. For that, you need to go over here and click Add Endpoint. For this example, I want to create a customer support endpoint. So for label, I will enter exactly that name, customer support. And I will do the same for this log. Right here, again, customer support. Then for the icon, I do want to show a default one. So over here in choose icon, I will search for one related to information. This one right here. Then show endpoints too. I do want to leave all users. In for content, I want to include the following message. Contact our customer support for any questions or further information. And over here, a contact email. Now, I don't want to add only some text. I also want to include an image. So we go over to add media. And I want to select this one right here. Perfect. That's great. Now, all we need to do is center this so it looks much better. There we go. And you can also add some bold, italic, manage all the different settings you have available here. But I believe it is ready to go. So I'm going to add the item. Perfect. I saved the changes. And now going back to our demo, once again, if I refresh, and here we can see our new endpoint, customer support. If I click to go inside, right here we can find all of the information we have entered. Our message, our contact email, and the image we included. Now let's go back to our plugin because next I want to show you another awesome option, the banners. If we go over here, from this section, you will be able to add as many banners as you want to include in the different endpoints you have available. Let me show you an example. We are inside the live demo of our plugin, and over here, all that you see are different banners. You know, the default WooCommerce My Account page can be a little bit boring, so having the option to include this type of banners can provide your customers a much better user experience and also allow them to understand what they can do in their page. Now that we know what are the banners, let's create a new one. For that, we go over here and click Add Banner. First of all, I will enter the banner name. In this case, I want to create an orders banner, so I will enter that for the name, orders. Next, we can decide on the banner icon. Either don't show an icon, show a default one, or upload a custom icon. In this case, I want to upload a custom one, so we click here and now let's go over to upload. And this is the one I want to enter. So I just choose the image. There we have it. And I'm going to leave the width as it is. Next, for the widget text, I'm going to enter this message. Check your order's history and download your invoices. Below this option, you will be able to manage the banner colors from this section. And then we have this option I want to show you. Show batch with dynamic count of items. In this case, I want to enable this option. And over here in show batch with dynamic count of items, I want to select from these options the orders. Then if we continue over here, we see this option, banner links. In this case, you can decide to don't add any link, link the banner to a specific endpoint or to an external URL. In this case, I do want to link the banner to a specific endpoint. And over here, we're going to select in this option to link our banner to my orders. So we select this option and now it's all ready to save. Now, what we need to do is actually associate our new banner, which is right here with one of our endpoints. But first of all, we need to save our options. Okay, now let's go back to endpoints. And I want to add our banner into our dashboard. So I'm going to open here. And if we scroll down over to content, here we have the option to add the banner. 
So I'm just going to go below our text and I'm going to click this button to add the banner. And over here, all we need to do is search for the new one we created, in this case, orders, and we add it. Perfect. Now let's just save the options. And one more time, let's click here on save changes. So we can go now back to our demo to see the final result. Here we are in the dashboard section of our My Account and over here we can see the banner we have included. As you can see, it is our orders banner. It has the message we included. Check your orders history and download your invoices. And if we click on it, then we are redirected immediately to My Orders section of our My Account. As you can see, the options with our plugin, which is WooCommerce Customize My Account page, are endless. All you need to do is have fun with it. And the best part, as you can see, everything is very easy to configure. Well, guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.